Hello everybody, Sir Phobos here, playing some more Heroes of the Storm. I was going to play some more Avatar today, um, show off a, a symbiote build, uh, and see how that goes. I, I have played a couple games already, and uh, matchmaking has been kicking our ass. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully this round will be a little bit better and we'll get something <laughs> at least usable out of it. Uh, win or loss. So let's uh, let's hop in the Nexus and see how it goes. Logical decision. Alrighty, so we find ourselves on the Sky Temple. Uh, friendly team is Morales, Avatar, Greymane, Vala, Stitches. Enemy team is Lunara, Diablo, Zagara, Karazim, and ETC. So I guess a little better than it was. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, at level one here, we are going to take uh, pressurized glands. Um, that's going to increase the range and decrease the cooldown on our uh, pressurized bursts in our symbiote. So that is going to be our uh, W ability when we are symbioting. And they are just... Fighting hard for all this. And we killed Diablo, so... Bafo. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, depending on how things go, I will adjust my mining. Um, right now, I'm just going to focus on mining my lane. Uh, just so I'm actually using them for things. Hey, we got ETC and Lunar as well. Uh, Stitches is down there just doing work. Actually, I'll, I guess I'll help him out a little bit. And... Okay. So, of course, uh... Avatar's abilities, his Q is the symbiote. Uh, his W ability are the mines. Those guys there. Uh... Diablo's gonna waste those. <laughs> After a couple seconds, a mine will form, and uh, if an enemy steps over it, it will deal damage. It does decent damage, and you can spec into them to do work, uh, but nothing we're focusing on here today. I'm trying to focus on maximum DPS with the top hat. Good hook on ETC, I guess. It was a kill. Alright, we'll throw some mines down in here. Jump on Vala and help her out. Uh, when he has the symbiote on somebody, his Q ability becomes uh, the stab attack, which is just a straight line skill shot. Uh, the W is, of course, the uh, pressurized gland, or the uh, spike burst, which is just the AoE around him. And the E is the carapace, which is just a a small shield. You can, do, you can do different things with that, but... Oh, they got all of that temple. It's alright, we traded temples. Nothing wrong with that. They were full level ahead of them. Uh, that's gonna be a Dead Deebles. And I should be on Greymane here. I'm wasting myself. Oh, darn it. I'm gonna blame myself for that. I could have done more there, but I was not paying enough attention. Uh, I actually come down here and soak for the or for the friendly team. This is all going on down here. Uh, Abathur's travel method, of course, is the burrow, which is going to uh, move him very quickly to any place he has uh, sight to. Uh, it actually makes the little slug quite mobile, uh, more so than you would expect, at least. Kerosene's coming down here. Um, Determining efficient I'll, just, I'll just back off there a little bit. They got our stitches, it looked like. Uh, Vala's in here taking Merc Camp, so I'll come help her real quick. Um, at level uh, 4, we did take the Adrenal Overload, which gives our host 
uh, increased attack speed, which is uh, really good for a couple heroes. Uh, it's really good for Vala. It's uh, pretty darn good on Greymane. He's just kind of a weird hero because uh, he changes forms. Uh, and then any hero that benefits from attack speed, obviously, will get some great benefit out of it. Uh, but with matchmaking, you know, it's kind of a crapshoot. <laughs> um, if you're going to get somebody that it'll uh, be useful on. So we're going to hop on our gray main here and help him. Uh, at level uh, 7 here, we did take Needle Spine. Which is going to increase the range and damage of our uh, uh, stab attack. Just... Again, increasing DPS here. Stitches in there doing stuff. Hop on our, keep our gray main doing. It doesn't look like he's trying to engage too hard, which is okay. Uh, I know as soon as I drop the top hat from him and try to go on stitches, though, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna go in hard. Yeah, gray main does uh, do a, a whole bunch of extra damage uh, when he turns into a werewolf. There he goes. Get him, Greymane. Okay, perfect. Uh, I will just go up top and soak experience, I guess. Destination come back a little bit here. Yeah, so I'm using the mines. It's just a kind of a wave clear. Um, okay, I'll throw them out around the temples and stuff like that. Um, Stitches is in trouble. There we go. He should keep backing up there, but did not. Uh, now our gray main's in trouble. I don't know why he aggroed the boss. Oh, oh, Lenara's gonna get me. Darn it. Ah, uh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Uh, I'm gonna take Ultimate Evolution here to help in team fights. Um, yeah, Gray Main and Vala are both great targets for that. Uh, oh, they're actually going for the boss. It's, I don't know if I agree with all that, but. I guess whatever. So let's come down here, soak some experience, help them out. I'll hop on Greymain. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, resumes right there. All right. Get this Lunar out of here. And temples are up. So we are in. A Pretty good spot here, especially with the boss pushing. Yep, we need to get the temples. Alright, Sisters has got the bottom one. It looks like they're coming up here to take this one. Uh, so I'll just I'll hang out on Vala. See, nice. Very nice. He's gonna be fine. I guess I'll help Stitches, otherwise he might not get anything uh, killed down here. <laughs> uh, but we're ahead on experience. We're ahead on temples, so it's going well. I guess I I can't complain too much here. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. We're not doing awful. It looks like uh, not super great. Uh, Unfortunately, Abathur's, uh, his damage will really ramp up in the late game, um, especially when he gets, like, the dual symbiote. And they are backing off, Gray Man, so you should probably back off, huh? I mean, unless you really, really want to go in. We can take a gray main here. Try to do stuff with it. 
There we go. <laughs> I think I was getting stunned to death there. All right, we're gonna take special efficiency there. Just do stuff. Get him stitches. Or I'll get him. <laughs> Just, just run away, Stitches. Get out of there, buddy. Just keep going. Do what you can. Okay. I guess you're dead. <laughs> uh. There you go. Get in there, Gray Mane. Um. Nice. Uh, the spatial, the talent we picked up is going to increase the charge on our needle spines. Um, so it goes from two charges to three. Yeah, just more DPS all around. Uh, let's come down bottom. Let's soak here. Uh, let's do what we can. Uh, Vala is going to be. Okay there, probably. Maybe. Yeah, oh yeah. With the stim drone and everything. With me in the stim drone, yeah, she'll be she'll be great. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what our stitches is doing there. Get her. Nope. Losing temples, Gray Man. Get in there. Alright. So it's So the top head build is just all about making your heroes tougher. Uh, increasing their DPS by adding extra pokes, throwing a little shield on there. Things like that. And I mean we're we're doing okay. Like I said, it does ramp up in the later game. Oh, here comes Lunara. Uh, they're all going up top. Yep, so these guys should cycle up there, although Greymane is hearthing for some reason. Uh, I'll come over here, actually, and just soak. And then hop on Stitches and help out. Get him, Stitches. Uh, I'll grab Vala here and jump on her. Just to help out. Just gonna push him out of lane here. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Jump back on Vala then. Uh, now it's dead. Our Vala is probably gonna die. <laughs> uh, shit. Yep, that wasn't good. But <laughs> we did we did do a lot of work. Uh, and as you can see, things are things are moving down here well. They gotta come defend this, or they're gonna lose this temple. And they might just lose it too. Oh, there they are. So I'll actually come back before they find me. Get it, Stitches. You do it. You do it. Must obey. Hop on Greymane here. Let him know I am here with him. But sometimes it can be uh, a <laughs> double edged sword. The uh, there with their top hat can give people. Undo courage <laughs> to do things. Uh, I've seen players run into one v you know threes because they had top hat on them. They're like, yeah, yeah nope, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> uh, let's actually, take care. Grab a gray main here. Yeah, just help the team so. Nope, oh, that wasn't good. It was a that was a good mosh pit from throw, or, uh, etc. 
really put the butt hurt on us. Just keep poking at them, but they're gonna get away. And Stitches should get out of there. Stitches, you should you should run. I don't know what you're doing, Stitches. You big idiot. Oh, Stitches, you big idiot. He died for no reason. Literally, no reason. <laughs> uh, this bottom temple is open. Mm. I cannot protect it. Not by my sail. Yeah, if you do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here comes Morales, but she needs a friend. Uh, actually come up here and just soak. And then I'll hop on Greymane. It looks like Deebles will probably get his ass murdered. Because oh. uh, of the... Uh, the apocalypse is gonna get me here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. So they they crushed us. They did a lot of work on us. So oh and they're level twenty too. Beautiful. When did we just tank this fucking game? Ugh, minions are punching me. I don't I don't know at what point we decided to lose this game. <laughs> it must have been recently, because we were doing well. Alright, boss is down. Um, throw some mines into those catapults. Come back here. Stitches, you need to retreat and be careful. I don't know what you're thinking there, buddy. There you go. That was a good play. That was a Stitches play. Pull somebody out of the mess. <laughs> and then kill them. Instead of walking your big butt in there. Alright. So, I have still plenty of time to turn this around. It's not completely lost yet. It looks like we're on equal footing. Same number of uh, forts up and whatnot. Um, I'll just throw down some mines. A lot of creep everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Get it, Greymane. That was, uh... <laughs> that was a good mule. Alright, so at level 20, we're gonna pick up the dual symbiote. Um... So when we put the symbiote on somebody, it'll hit two people. Uh, this is huge, because it'll just effectively double everything we do. Uh, assuming, of course, that we have two people in range of the symbiote. So... Like there we have... Who do we have on us? Uh, we had Morales. I don't know why we had Morales, but we did. So we're shooting... Uh, Two stabs, we're doing two bursts, we do two shields. Come on. Man, those mosh pits are getting us. They're getting us hard. Ah. We just need to stop grouping up like idiots. That, that might be GG. That might be GG. <laughs> oh, no. Because they're going to get both temples uncontested now. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Not not by myself. Well, I mean, it, this is a pretty standard top hat build. Um, uh, but with any Abathur build, there is like a lots of wiggle room. And I talked about that in the split push build. And that's the core there. Uh, the big things here uh, for this build. Uh, to be real successful, 
uh, is you want the adrenal overload and then the hive mind. Those are the huge ones. Uh, now, like I think adrenaline boost is pretty much an auto take as well, uh, just because of how effective it is uh, at keeping your team alive. <laughs> Get him. Uh, being able to help heroes run away and run into fights, chase people down, is pretty big. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like this is bad. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. There we go. This could be game if we win this. Oh, get him. Get him, Stitches. Oh, I missed my hook, of course. Because <laughs> Stitches slowed him. Get him, Stitches. Get, get him with the second hook. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I will try to save the core. I will do my best to save the core, guys. You just push their core. There we go. There we go. Hey, and we did it. <laughs> hey, good game. So that was real close. Yeah. yeah. Magic making has been rough. This wasn't a terrible setup. Um, the teams were pretty decent. Uh, Green main kind of fits in there weird. Um, but whatever. Uh, yeah, because we didn't have a, a whole lot of strong frontline DPS. <laughs> I mean, Green main, like I said, he's he's new, but he's kind of weird about it. So, uh, you know, we didn't do a whole ton of damage, but it's not unreasonable to do really high damage when you have uh, like high, high assassin teams you know uh, heavy melee assassin teams like Illidan and uh, Butcher stuff like that uh, but you know we still did really good siege damage you know we're still Abathur XP contribution you know that was still a big thing that we wanted to do try to keep the the levels close or in our favor but yeah so that we'll go over the challenge one more time here for the top hat we want pressurized glands uh, just to increase the uh, size and decrease the duration of our spike burst. Uh, we went Adrenal Overload to give our host 25% uh, attack speed. Uh, that's why it's one of the big ones, because it will really uh, increase the DPS of you know any hero that benefits from stuff like that, like Vala greatly benefits from attack speed, Raynor, uh, you know, heroes like that. Uh, Butcher, Illidan, of course. Then we did Needle Spine. Increase the damage and range of the stab by 20%. We went ultimate evolution, um, which gives, you know clones a, a friendly hero for us to take control of instead of the evolved monstrosity, uh, because we have a gray main and a vala, so they are they are decent targets. Uh, you know, just get that extra bursty assassin in there kind of deal, helping team fights. Uh, we went with the efficiency to give us an additional charge on our stab, uh, adrenaline boost. You get a 40% movement speed for 3 seconds when you put the carapace on somebody. And then Hive Mind, you get an additional uh, symbiote on a nearby hero. And it will just mimic whatever you're doing on that hero. So yeah. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of wiggle room in all the Abathur builds. You know, the big ones here is you want Adrenaline Overload. Uh, and you want the Hive Mind. Oh, I'm sorry, Adrenal Overload uh, and Hive Mind. Just because uh, that's going to be your huge boost to DPS. You know, helping the your host, and then that's going to just, you know, it basically it doubles your effective DPS as Abathur. So, yeah, so, you know, you, in the early game, you know, you can take some mind talents if you really want to, and, you know, you can even t pick up the, the big split push talents at 13 and 16 if you really want to, and, you know, make a hybrid build. You know, a lot of wiggle room with the slug. So, yeah, I hope you found the video helpful. 
I'll probably show off some of the hybrid builds and other things like that with Abathur sooner or later. But uh, that's going to be it for this, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.